This video has been a long time coming. As you may or may not know, for years, I have been a big fan of the GEPRC Rocket. Still am, great little quad. It's got a full-size air unit, or you can get a Vista unit in it, and it's a ton of fun to fly, very good for indoors and outdoors, but it doesn't have stabilized video, so the video doesn't look that great off of it when you fly recording to the air unit. It looks okay, you can get it in HD, but it doesn't give you any stabilization, so it can look kind of shaky. However, Flywoo has the Center Race V2. This has an O3 air unit in it, and it allows you to have really stable, really great looking footage because of that O3 air unit, which is a big improvement. And this Center Race is actually lighter by a couple of grams than the GEPRC Rocket. And when you add the cool LEDs that this thing has, as well as the fact that it is lighter than the GEPRC Rocket, this is gonna be my new 4S, go everywhere, fly indoors, fly bandos, bump into stuff, quad. I wanna tell you all about it, so stay tuned. This thing is tiny, and I have just recently had the opportunity to fly this one over here, which was given to me by Original Dobo. Thank you, Ken, appreciate it and flew it in a big warehouse, which was super fun because there was no wind pushing the thing. I do think it's gonna be susceptible. This one is a brand new one. Now, this one that Dono gave to us has Crossfire and we have it hooked up to a Radio Master and it works great. This one is a plug and play bind and fly with the DJI radio. And we're gonna do a quick setup of it right now. But before we do, I just wanna note a couple of things about this. First of all, it's tiny. It's sub 250, I believe. It's got the O3 unit in it, which allows you to get really, really good footage. This one happened to come with the Flywoo ND filter, an ND8 on it, already attached to it. And they also sent a clear protector filter. So if you wanna pull that um, ND8 off of it, you can put this on instead, and that's gonna protect your lens and not knock the light down. So if you're flying indoors in sort of a dark environment, which is what we're gonna do in just a few minutes, uh, I'll probably replace the ND8 with this clear one. I did purchase this, by the way, and so this is not a sponsored video. I loved the GEP RC Rocket, but I've been looking for something to replace it because I wanted to be able to fly with something that had a stabilized camera in it, and this thing does because it has the O3 camera and the air unit in it. So the Flywoo Cinerace 20 V2 with the O3 setup is amazing. We really like this thing. We have two of them. We've been flying them a lot. Um, they're not good in wind, but if you're flying indoors or you're flying in a bando or you're flying under a overpass where you're protected from the wind or you're just flying on a calm day, they're really fun because they're small. They're very, very durable. These little pads on the side take a lot of abuse. We even collided in the air one time and it was just fine. We both kept flying uh, while we were flying these. I'm a big fan of these. Now they do have a couple of things that you need to know. First of all, with regard to the battery and the battery strap, there is a little piece of film that you peel off from where the battery pad goes and it makes this a little more sticky so that the battery sticks better. So if your battery's sliding in and out, that's one thing to do. Number two, the strap that comes with it is total crap. It doesn't even have a buckle. It's just the actual material of the strap. And so it's very easy to break. We did break one. Uh, thanks to Kai for fixing it for us, taking the uh, cover off here. He had the right tools and he put this strap on. Yeah, we were in a big wide open spot and there was a light pole and I just thought, let me see how close I can get to that thing. Close was close. Change now the strap on this thing is a pain in the ass. Yes, that's good though, it's good for the review. However, this strap is a little too long, and so we ended up taking a little piece of neoprene from a koozie and making a little barrier so that this would fit better. We'll show you separately in a video. But the point is, go ahead while you're setting this thing up and replace the strap with something that actually has a buckle, and ideally a metal buckle because it's gonna do a lot better. Also, when we crashed it, it did come with a little, um, UV filter or ND filter that was protecting the lens here. That fell off. Just keep that in mind. You could lose that if you crash. They go on pretty well, but in a crash they can fall off. And then finally, let's talk about the batteries. Flywoo recommends a 750 milliamp hour battery 
that does a decent job, fits on it pretty well, and gives you a decent amount of flight time. However, there is an 850 milliamp hour battery that I'll link to below that's high voltage. If you actually charge it on the HV setting, the LIHV setting on your charger, you'll get about a minute and a half or two minutes more of flight time using that battery with the HV, and it doesn't weigh any more than the 750. Somehow the 750 and 850 batteries are almost identical. It's about 67, 68, 69 grams in that range. So it's a great thing to get that 850 high voltage battery, charge it in high voltage mode, and then you're gonna get about seven minutes and some change of flight time, which is awesome with this little thing. I love this guy. It's super small, very unobtrusive, one other thing we did notice is if you crash in mud, you could get mud up inside the micro USB slot down here. So it might even be worth putting a little piece of tape or something over that while you're flying just to make sure it doesn't get filled with mud like ours did. So let us know what you think below in the comments about these little 4S guys. This one's also got GPS built into it, which, you know, we're not flying it very far, so it doesn't really feel like you need it, but it's a nice thing to have. Just love the picture quality of this, love the image quality, love the LEDs on the outside. It just looks so cool when you're flying and chasing with your friends, going through areas that are a little bit darker. And again, this is great for indoors and sheltered areas, which are gonna be darker than out in bright sunlight. So you kind of get the advantage of these uh, LEDs when you're flying that way. Let us know what you think below. I'm curious if there is something as good out there from somebody else as the Cinerace 20 V2 with the O3 unit on it. If you know of one, comment below. We'll be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Ready, Set, Drone. Fits in the tantrums. Okay, so I have here the fly root. So the fly root, fly root.